All right, Richard Southern joins us to chat about some of the day's more interesting and offbeat stories. And Richard, some of us think this should be an official holiday, including myself. Today is International Dog Day or National Puppy Day. Big day. Erica Ooh. wanted to lead with this story. We had to talk her out of it. We said we got other important stuff. No, but it is important. And there's a lot of dog lovers out there, including yeah. yourself. And I thought, you know, on International Dog Day, maybe we should look at some. Oh, look at that guy. We should look at some fun That's facts my dog. about dogs. Oh, my goodness. Is that your dog? That is my dog. Aww. It's from an old story that we did last year. Yeah, that's that was my your little dog puppy. dog is so popular. Yeah. She's in file tape. It's amazing. <laughs> Anyways, dogs' noses, they're wet, uh, apparently, because that's how they help scent, uh, scent uh, taste the the smell. They, the chemicals uh, come in the nose, and they lick their nose, and that's how they sort of sense what's going on around them. Mm -hmm. uh, another fun fact, dogs have three eyelids, apparently. I didn't know that one. Yeah, it's true. Uh, Sometimes it looks like she's sleeping with her eye open, but she's not, yeah. Wow, didn't yeah. know that. Uh, bloodhound's sense of smell can be used as evidence in court. That's how good they are. And a greyhound can beat a cheetah in a long-distance race. Some dogs are very fast. Let's see another picture of your puppy. Why not, Erica? Yeah. Oh, there she is, smiling. Luna. That was... <laughs> That was from, <laughs> that was when she was uh, Amelia Earhart for Halloween. <laughs> she didn't go missing, I hope. No, she has, just has one okay. missing eye, but she's fine. <laughs> okay, uh, we've heard some pretty crazy reasons for people losing their jobs, but this next one is highly questionable, Richard. Yes, questionable being the operative word. A university professor out of England lost his job. This is the gentleman here for using too many question marks in emails, Erica. He was known to use like seven, eight, even 10 punctuation marks. And uh, the faculty said that that was kind of like uh, overly aggressive and it created what they called an intimidating tone. A tribunal actually found that he was dismissed wrongly. They gave him. 20,000. Is it wrong to to use too many question marks? That is marks, a you think, very, Erica? very thin reason to dismiss somebody. Yeah. You think so? I think so. Using too many question yeah. marks? Come on. All right. Um, and finally, <laughs> how long can you stay away from your phone? One company is offering big money for people to just take a bit of a break. Yeah, uh, even for 24 hours. I don't know if we can do it. So, the, yeah, there's this uh, website out of the States called uh, reviews.org, and what they're offering you now is $2,400. If you can, stay off your phone for 24 hours. If you want to participate, you got to write them a little essay. Screen time is a growing health risk, they say, and, you know, we're spending more time at home during the pandemic, and, of course, we're looking at our phones more than ever. So I thought, Eric, let, let's you and I try it right now. You think we can stay off our phones even for a few moments? I have my phone. I'm not going to look at it at all okay let's see if we can right. uh, just for a moment okay now see now i am feeling a buzz right away and i want to you know what i'm going to look at it and oh it's it's you you're sending me a message let's what's so important let's look at what erica's texting me right now <laughs> oh there's your your dog okay we already saw luna uh very nice there she is uh what are you saying to me here erica richard don't you think she's cute <laughs> what that's a lot of question marks erica <laughs> Well, don't That's very you? Aggressive. Don't you think she's very, cute? I need you to affirm. She's cute, but yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Very aggressive with the question marks there. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Thanks, Richard. You'll be receiving more dog texts later today. <laughs> Have a great night. <laughs> See ya.